Good morning. Hello, everyone. How you doing? Welcome to Breakfast with Brian. I'm Brian Barolo. I live in media outside of Philadelphia, mid-Atlantic. And uh, the weather here is just all screwed up because it's raining overnight. Now it's in the 40s, almost 50 degrees today. It's going to drop down to 30s. It's going to head down to 30s and 20s for the next few days. I don't understand, but I know that this kind of weather causes people to get sick. Because it's cold, it's warm. It's cold, it's warm. It's wet, it's dry. It's just, it's crazy weather. So, but anyway, here we are. Welcome to my kitchen. Welcome to Breakfast with Brian. Today being Tuesday, January 8th, 2019. And my subject today is focus. Focus, focus, focus. It's very, very crucial in every person's life in order to get ahead. Okay, so I'm going to start with my juice. I'm focusing on my juice right now, and I already prepped everything pretty much. And the first thing I'm going to put in is um, uh, coconut, some fresh coconut that I opened up uh, at the end of last week. I'm going to throw that in there. I'm going to mix it up so it grinds up that coconut first thing before I add all the fruits. I'm going to take a second here. And uh, we'll get going. Now you can see it. it up so it's just like little flakes in there it's hard to see but okay now uh, I already did some prep so I'm gonna drop in there I have a, a, a regular size orange I believe we call them but make them in Florida and California and then I have the uh, the little ones little tiny ones that the kids eat all the times they have different names but doesn't really matter. Oranges, oranges. I'm doing a lot of oranges today because I don't want them going bad. And I'm also doing some red grapes. Red grapes. I got red grapes in here already ready. Rinsed. I'm just going to put it all right into the pitcher. And that's a start. Okay. Now, I have papaya. I cut up the rest of my papaya. So it's going to be quite a bit of papaya in here. I may not put it all in. You can see how it fills up. And uh, we'll get going here with the orange, grapes, coconut, and some papaya. We'll grind it up and see what's going on. See where we're at. I'll start a little later today, so I'm not having a whole lot of people pop up. So I'll be focusing on trying to keep my focus and getting everything prepped before I started my... Uh, my live this morning. Okay, I think that's pretty good for now. I am getting the same thing that happened the other day. I'm getting the coconut to stick down at the bottom. I gotta figure out that. That's something new. Okay, so I'm gonna throw the rest of the papaya in because I got plenty of room. Those guys are in. I have a banana left. I finished almost all my bananas because I've been doing bananas like crazy and banana and almond milk shakes and uh, been putting bananas in my juices and just eating bananas because I had them. And last week I got them from Trader, I mean from Produce Junction. A lot of them were bruised and they were turning bad really fast. So I just, I pushed a lot of bananas last week. No big deal. So I got one left and that's okay. Hi, Missy, Tyler. Hey, Cino, you've been popping up some good videos lately. I dig it, man. So keep it going, man. It's really cool. I dig it. I dig it a lot. All right, I got some blueberries here. Rinse them up real quick and throw them in. I'm going to use them up since I don't have that many and I don't want them to go bad. So I just soon use them all. And get the most out of them before they go bad and throw them out. And it's wasted fruit, wasted food, wasted money, wasted energy going to buy the stuff, wasted gas and time. You know, so you got to be efficient. And that's what this whole deal of focus is about. It's about focusing about every single little thing in your life. You must focus. It's almost like putting the blinders on horses. That's so that the horses, when they're racing, they're not seeing or being distracted by anything else on the sides. They put the blinders on so that they, they focus dead ahead. And that's how they win the races. Okay, got the rest of my fruit in here. And uh, let me go over and grind it up a little bit. 
and we'll continue. Okay. So. Try to see if I can push it down a little bit. Last time I had to use my butter knife. Yeah, it's coming down a little bit, but it sticks to the uh, sticks to the pitcher first thing. When you put it in there, obviously, I should probably put a little liquid in when I grind up my coconut. Or maybe a little bit of the cran juice or something, just to so it doesn't stick to the sides. Coming off, but I'm having to kind of grind it off almost or push it off. Why, when I used my knife the other day, it worked out really, really good. Well, even though most of the coconut is in there, it's just the coconut powder that's kind of sticking to the sides on the bottom. It is what it is. Okay, let me uh, I'm gonna add some juices to it now to thin it out. And I'm doing mostly orange here. Because I have a lot of oranges in there, so I'm hitting heavy on the orange. Florida's natural to add it in the, add the processed orange juice in there to thin it out a good bit. Mostly orange, but that's okay. I'm going to add a little bit of crayon raspberry too. I'm going to overflow it now. You see how it comes out? It comes out thin enough to drink, then I'm in good shape. So. The blade comes off of its spindle down to the bottom. Yeah, I think it's flowing enough. It's overflowing. I probably should have put in all that papaya because I just filled it up a little bit more than I really, really wanted to. So let me get my juice glass out here. And I'm going to pour my juice. There you go. There's my juice. But before I do my juice, I do every day water. First thing into my body because then it helps re nourish and rehydrate all my organs. That's what I call an inside shower cleans it feels it's like a wash away it just feels so good you ever notice that if you drink water first thing before you eat anything put anything else into your mouth the water kind of like cool and ah oh, it's like a rinse it just feels good okay got my juice here and i got my supplements i'm going to do my my two supplements i do my uh centrum silver and my turmeric supplement and i do it with my juice cheers Start my day. Mm. It's a little different. A little different flavoring. Got to figure what offset that. Because it's heavy on the papaya, probably. A touch of the grapes and blueberries to so throw it off. I've never had that flavor, so I've never done this actual mix, but it's still good. It's still fresh juice. It's killer. Okay, I'm going to put my uh, bagel in the toaster. Toast my bagel. Because that's what I'm having for breakfast. I have my water, have my supplements, have my juice. I'm having a bagel with almond butter. I love it. It's really good. It's a good staple. That's my staple. Some people have to have eggs every day. Some people don't eat breakfast. Whatever your choice is, whatever works best for you, stick with it. Keep your focus on keeping your health. Keep your focus on what you're eating and drinking. Keep your focus on your whole body. What goes on outside, like with me, inside is brain odds, but it affects the outside. So I'm focusing on trying to get my fingers warm now so anyway subject being focus 
we were taught about focus. And we grew up with having to learn how to focus and to focus on what. And there's so many different levels of focusing. You can focus with your eyes. It's blurry. Now it's clear. Okay, well, that's one focus. That's a physical focus of your eyes. How about a focus of your brain? How about a focus of your energies? How about a focus in society and focus with other people? And you can focus on how you are going to run crews. You can focus and be a worker on how you're going to attack that project. Do you have the right tools? Do you have to get on your knees? Do you have knee pads? Do you have the outside? Do you have the under, under warmer clothing? See, focus comes around with every single thing that we do in life. You have to focus. And this is only if you want to step it up and be above board above everybody else and have your shit together and people are going to look at you and respect you because your focus is defined and you can complete these projects and you can start new ones and follow through it's all about focus where is your focus how strong is your focus are you focusing at all are you a dim wind and just da 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 i don't know I mean, I'm not trying to put anybody down, but a lot of people don't focus on reality. They don't focus on the good things or on the bad things that are bringing them down to get away from them to bring themselves up. They focus on the positivity that's within their household to keep them positive and going outward and kicking butt out in the world. A lot of people don't take the time to actually focus on what you're doing. Me? I'm having a hard time focusing on some things. I'm a normal human being. Some things I'm really, really good on, and some things I distract myself. Focus is so crucial and so important for our good health and our success in life that when people have diseases like ADD, ADHD, ADD, AADHD, whatever it is they might have that takes their focus away from their mind and their brain, that they get distracted, they can't finish a project, they can't sit and listen, they have to move on, they have to go. I can't keep, I can't keep, you know, I got, I, I can't focus, I'm running away. No, that's wrong. Focus, bring yourself forth and force it out of you and make sure that you stay focused. Think about an artist, okay? I have a new painting here, it's not new, this is really, really old. And I brought it down because this is one of the paintings I have from my mother. When she was younger, she did all kinds of things, you know, arts and crafts and paintings and sewing, and she did all kinds of things. But it takes a lot of focus to like paint a picture. It's an oil painting, and she takes a lot of focus to make all these tiny little paint strokes to create this picture. I know it's not the greatest picture out there, but my mom painted it by hand from scratch from her mind and from probably she had a couple props there put them there and she copied it more than likely i know she did it in the older house i think it was right before i was born or something but anyway um the whole point about it is focusing even into the tiniest tiniest little details and whatever the project is that you're doing you must focus don't lose your focus Otherwise, you're going to get distracted. You're going to go off. You're not going to finish the job that you're right in the middle of, the project that you're trying to complete and impress people with. Take a little time, a little extra time. Push people away. Get your focus together. Get your focus together, and you can go ahead and follow through with pride. You're going to stand up tall because you kicked butt, because you took the time to focus on it and make it 100%. Many times I used to go in and do uh, light shows, and if I didn't focus, then I would miss something. You know, say some of my uh, crew were, you know, sloppy, and they didn't focus in putting in a multi-connector into a six-bar of pars. Now, there's a little notch, and there's a bunch of threads, and you've got to put it in and line it up, and you've got to put the threads all the way on to that connector. Now, if you don't do it, you don't focus on making all of those tightening, you know, the collar, you don't focus on getting it 100% in and flush and locked in, guess what? Out of those six lights, not all six are gonna work. <laughs> it's very simple. You 
do this. Now, can you focus on holding your fingers together? Can you make them go together and stay together? Because as soon as you break it apart, there's a disconnection. So on a, on a multi-connector, you put it in and you tighten it. If you don't tighten it all the way, it's loose and you lose connections. It's simple little things like that. Take that extra little minute to focus on what you're actually doing so that you can complete it correctly. That last job I did a couple months ago and half my multis weren't plugged in properly, half the lights weren't working, I was pulling my hair out and it was a mess because I didn't focus on the mistakes of other people not focusing on their jobs. So I normally would have to go back and check every single one of their jobs to make sure that it was 100% complete. And if they didn't focus, it wasn't complete. That job, so much it was not complete because nobody focused on what their particular job was and finishing it and following through. Just like I said, with a painter, they want to come out with a complete painting. But yet, there's so many little details. The details in the flowers, the little white flowers in the branches. Now, they have to be a certain way, you know, it's the swirls and the leaves. It's focus. It's the tiniest little things that you can do to keep your focus to follow through. Okay? That's all it is. Focus. Take the extra minute. Take the extra couple of breaths. Think it through. I think every job through completely in my mind in order for me to get the proper focus to do the job. That's all. So I'm going to say my other bag will start to toast up. I'm going to get my breakfast happening here real quick and I'm going to get going. So focus today on 10 things that you'll be thankful for, grateful for, happy for. I have focused on my back every day when I get up. So when I get up, I stretch certain ways and this and that so that my back doesn't hurt. Okay, I focus on this purposely because if I get up, my back's hurting, the rest of my day is shot. So I focus on getting my back together. I focus on standing up straight and getting myself loose and limber and happening and getting my physical self together every day. This keeps me healthy. This keeps me away from the doctor and out of the hospital. And keeps me away from diseases and keeps me healthy. I focus on keeping my fruit and vegetables in me all the time. Simple little things, you know, I focus on keeping my stove going and getting it hot and cooling off and getting hot and cooling off. I'm focusing on writing this book that I'm in the middle of writing. You just have to keep your focus on what you're doing and you're good. So 10 things, focus on 10 things today you're gonna be thankful for or happy for or grateful for. You can help an old lady cross the street, Focus on doing it properly. She's going to be happy. That's a plus. It's another thing that made you happy or grateful or thankful. So you pick it. Find 10 things and focus on them. Make them good ones. All right? Also, pick three people to share some love with. Focus on sharing that love. Focus on that comment when you say, now have a great day. Have a great day. Big difference. Hi, how are you doing? It's good to see you again. Hey. Okay, one's focused, the other's not. Hey, Ralph, how's it going, man? Hey, he's his guy, Ralph. He's got to focus on keeping his trucks maintained. He has to do it in order for the drivers not to have any problems. So if he takes his focus off the truck and the truck starts failing, it's going to blow, blow, blow. It's going to end up in the shop, costing the company money. The truck is down, it's one less delivery truck, another driver's out of work. You see, so you take your focus off of the littlest thing, things can go awry. So you gotta stay focused. So pick three people, share some love with them. Wish them a happy new year. Not just wish them a happy new year. <laughs> it's just so simple. So 10 things you're grateful for, happy for, thankful for, focus on those. Pick three people, at least, and wish them a great day. Wish them a happy new year. Share some love. Focus on that comment that you give them to kind of help bring their spirits up and help them go. Okay, and then within your household, I always believe one to two positive comments or compliments. Now, focus on the comment that you're going to say. You don't want to stab somebody or hurt somebody. You want to Build their positivity up. You want to make them happy or help them feel good when they're walking out of the house or you're walking out of the house or you feel good. You know, it's 
they focused on making that comment to me. I feel really good. That was a really good thing that she said to me as I'm walking out the door. Simple little things like that. And you keep your focus on all these things day in, day out, every day. You're only going to soar to the top in whatever it is you're doing, whether it's your love relationships, whether it's your finances, whether it's your job, whatever it might be. Focus when you're driving. Be aware and focus on the other drivers and your driving so you can keep everything going right. There's no accidents. Simple little things. Okay, focus. I'm going to focus on getting my breakfast and my bagel before it burns. Yep, I, I didn't focus and I burned my bagel. All right, I'm done. I'm going to go fix my breakfast. So everybody out there, focus today on what is most important. And what is not most important, focus on the whole list. All right? You all take care. Really appreciate you for being here. Thank you very much. And you all have a great day. And focus on your future. Thank you very much. See you. Ciao.